Good afternoon everybody, it's Lynn from Stampin' with Lynn Fay, UK demonstrator in Buckingham. It's Wednesday, it's 4.30 and it's time for Linifon! <laughs> Sorry about last week, I had lots of um, stuff going on where I wasn't able to, um, to focus on doing a, a Facebook Live and I know that I disappointed some of you and I do apologise. Um, but I'm back and my lovely Carol is watching me carol wincott hello lovely so um just while i uh good afternoon my lovely have you had a good day off um i've literally not long finished and uh, the card i was planning on making i've changed it up i'm gonna do a bit of ad libbing so um so i kind of know what i want to do i've um i've got some samples to show you that um that i've done and then I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Good afternoon, Baz. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope that you're doing OK and the family as well. So um, I thought at one point I was going to need to put some lights on because it had gone so dark and grey and ready to rain. But um, it's it's doing OK at the moment. So uh, my back door's open. Oh, you'll watch and cook. You are just showing off doing a bit of multitasking, aren't you? <laughs> just don't burn yourself you've had a good day off carol oh that's good um as i say i've not long finished work and uh, i've been uh, literally looking forward to to doing my facebook live as i say i had last week off due to stuff with the family and uh yeah my head was all over the place um so it although i love crafting and sharing it with you and i know it's safe it just i just didn't didn't i wasn't feeling it so um so yes so um, I've got a few people already joined, so please, when you pop on, do say hello. Um, and if I miss seeing you, I do apologise. And if you're watching on the replay, um, hello and welcome and thank you for joining us. And do still leave me a comment because it's great to... Oh, hello, Jane. You made it. Yay. <laughs> um, so, yes, as I say, I've... Um, yeah, I've got some bits and pieces to show you. This is one of the new stamps that's coming out, well, that's come out in the new annual catalogue for Stamping Up. Um, and uh, it's to do with sunflowers. And um, as I say, it's an absolutely stunning set. It comes as a bundle. Hello. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm hoping that the rain doesn't come down, in which case I might have to just dash off and shut the back door. Otherwise, everything's gonna get drenched that's in the doorway. Fingers crossed that, you know, it will stay dry enough for me to carry on and do this. So, oh, good afternoon, Tracy and Sean. How are you doing, my lovelies? I hope that uh, your week's going OK. Happy hump day, because we're in the middle of the week. Um, that's the other reason I chose Wednesdays, other than it's Carol Wincott's day off. And I know that she, uh, you know, she has to fit us all round her working schedule. <laughs> And I really appreciate it. So, right, I am going to flip you round so that you can see exactly what I'm going to be doing. So bear with me while I... Oh, oh there we go. Here we are. OK. You'll keep at yourselves amused while I shut the back door. Yeah, I won't need to at the moment. Just fingers crossed I, uh, I'll be OK. So this is the stunning stamp set called Celebrate Sunflowers. It's got a beautiful big sunflower and all of the detail. If you look at all of that, it's got concept artists have done all the shading for us. Beautiful sentiment. Congratulations on reaching a whole new level of wonderful. Some stamps, uh, some leaves, small and large. Let's celebrate you. Thanks a bunch. A smaller sunflower and know that you are loved, which please know that you all are loved. In my heart, it's bursting with all the lovely things that people have sent me all the um, wonderful happy mail the messages that I get on my um, Facebook lives and uh, just want to say now I really really appreciate it so thank you so this is the stamp set it also comes with all of these matching dies um, so I am using quite a lot of bits and pieces today I'm going to be using this one I'm not going to use the leaf ones because I think they're fairly easy to cut out by hand because I'm only going to do a few. Um, good afternoon, my lovely Martin. How are you doing? Are you just finished work? So lovely of you to join me. So, yeah, we're using 
the Celebrate Sunflowers and the die. And I know that you've just done lovely cards with that, Martin, so um, thumbs up to you. So I'll put that to one side for the moment because we don't need it. And let's have a little look. OK, let's just do this. So, OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you I'm using some um, so, uh, blah, blah, soft suede cardstock. And my cards are normally, they open that way. But I'm going to do one that opens tenfold rather than the other way. So I'm just going to use this stamp, uh, this piece of paper. I'm going to score it. Yep, so I don't want to use my blade. I'm going to score it at 14.9. Turn it round and cut it at 10.5. Okay, so you get two card blanks out of it fold it over we'll put the other one to one side because we don't need that just yet make sure that where's my phone folder let me just quickly I think I put it away here we go so I'm just going to use my bone folder to make sure it's a really really crisp edge so that's my card blank I've also cut a piece of whisper white to go on the inside OK, so that we can stamp on that. And that was 14 by nine and a half. So that would go in there. So we'll do a bit of stamping on that inside afterwards. And then the card that I originally was going to make was this one. So let me come down a little bit and show you. So it was going to have the Let's Celebrate You heat embossed and the, um, the sunflower coloured in with my um, blends, the alcohol markers. Um, I did a varied um, few. This one I actually cut out and stuck on, whereas this one's completely flat. Um, did some ribbon, the bumblebee ribbon, and one of the sentiments. Um, so that was one of them. I then did one of the other sentiments on there, the Let's Celebrate, without the, um, without the ribbon, but also with a pop of black around the edge, whereas this one doesn't have it you're sticking mash in the microwave is that your level of cuisine is it no wonder you stay so slim martin <laughs> and then this one's the you are loved in exactly the same way as that sentiment and then this is the congratulations on a whole new level of wonderful so there was quite a few and then after a while because my blends have been used a lot they started to run out. So they may not look as bright or as dark as this, but you get the idea. So I'm not gonna be making any of those, but I am using the same stamp set. I also did a white embossed version with the, um, with the middle um, cut out as well. And this was an old Stampin' Up um, notebook that had so many lovely things which are now retired, but I've made it Oh, it's raining, but it's OK at the moment. Don't need to run and uh, shut the back door just yet. And then I put just a little note and I'll be sending that out to somebody special. Um, but yeah, as I say, I really love that. So the white embossed um, compared to the dark brown um, early espresso ink makes it look completely different, but it is actually the same. And I've done, I think it was one, two, three, three levels of it so yeah that's just something really quick and simple okay so what I've done is I'm going to start by versa marking up which I'll need to clean my stamp because I was busy doing some other bits with the stamp so let's just I'm just cleaning it off with my chamois okay just to make sure there's no trace of ink left Okay, what are you having with your mashed potato then, Martin? So let's just make sure that's completely dry. Okay, now I've got my Versa mark, which is clear. I'm just wondering, do I want to? No, I'm going to do the. I'm going to do the little one. Oh, I am really winging it today, aren't I? Oh, I've obviously got the little devil in me, so it is. Because normally I'm quite a. I mean, I can go off script, but I tend to like to know what I'm doing but today what the heck I'm just going to go with it good afternoon Babsy I am actually doing some a card with um 
the celebrate the sunflowers or celebrate sunflowers. So I'm turning my stamp and I'm trying to make sure I go off the edge. Whoops, just sausage. Oh, nothing too exciting. Are you having gravy with it? Are you having anything else? So I'm just literally, if you can see, this is just Versamark, so it's not, um, it's not in a colour, it's in a clear, sticky liquid, which will dry and it won't be sticky. So I'm just making sure I turn the stamp round and stamp off the edge so that it doesn't all look uniform. Okay. Uh, shall I go that way? Oh, might have to go upside down and a little bit to the edge. Oh yeah, can't have sausage without gravy. That's right. And maybe some fried onions or something like that. So I'm going to just go up like this. I don't need to cover it all because you'll see when I do things next, I shall be covering some of it up. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so I put my lid back on, put that to one side. So at the moment, as I say, you can see this is the smaller one. and It's such a beautiful detailed stamp. It looks like you've actually used coloured ink rather than the Versamark, but you can use um, Oh, what can you call it? Uh, heat embossing powder on it um, and turn it a different colour. But I wanted it in like this um, watermark effect. So I have cut a piece of black cardstock. Now, if I get it in the right light, seven and a half deep centimetres, ten and a half wide, which is the same width as the card, and then mark down three centimetres from the top. And what you're going to get is if you cut it at that angle, which I will show you. Uh, do I have a spare bit? I think I do. So, say for instance, we're going to, I've got my pencil. I'm going to turn that on its side and mark three centimetres on my grid. And then from that point of the paper and using, let me pull you back in a little bit. So there's the, the three centimetre mark and there's the point of my paper and using my cutter I'm just going to cut that corner off. <laughs> as long as it was um, sausage, mash and beans, would it be baked beans or would it be runner beans? I don't know. So that would be how you would get your, your um, angle on your corner. So I'll put that away to one side at the moment. So... That is going to go, let me put it back up again. That is going to go on that bit there. Um, I did do a smaller version. I'm not sure which one I like. Don't know. I wanted a little bit of a border around if I had a border. But then I think I'd have to cover it all. So that one, I think I prefer because you can't see anything. So yes, I think I'm going to use that one. So that's the start of my card. I'm now going to stamp. I'll put that to one side there. I'm going to stamp with the big um, sunflower um, with the early espresso. Uh, I've just re-inked this so it's really, really juicy because I really would like um, a really deep um, sunflower dark dark pattern so let's do that and I'll pop my head over the camera gently push down you can use your stamp uh, stamparatus um, if you're doing lots of them but I'm cutting this one out so it doesn't really matter where it goes so um, let's have a little look there we are doesn't that stamp beautifully all the detail and everything it looks real so I'm going to put that to one side now, because this is um, normal uh, dye-based ink, what I did was you can actually use your blend pens with them, but you need to let this dry for a long while. So, in true Blue Peter fashion, I've actually done some, so I'm just going to put this one to one side, and I can use that later. So let's get these bits out of the way. Okay, so I've still got that card there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose one of them, 
which one do I want to do? And because my blender pens are running out, I've stored them with the thick end down at the moment. You don't normally, you keep them flat, but because I want all of the ink to go to the juiciest part that I'm using today to get the most out of them until I get my, my actual order, I'm doing them so that they're actually facing thick end down, which is how I feel today. <laughs> thick end down. Right, now, you know you see most people colouring in really, really carefully. No. I'm actually going over the edge because um, we're going to cut it out with the die and the die actually leaves a little bit of a, uh, an edge. So I don't want an edge. I'm literally just laying down a colour very loosely around the edge. Shall I come in a little bit closer so you can see? Okay, so if that's the case, then I'm going to sit down. So that was uh, Light Daffodil Delight. So that was that one. Just close up my ink pad, otherwise I'm likely to put my hand in it and it will go everywhere. So again, I'm using the thick end and this is Dark Daffodil Delight. So I'm going out from the, the middle out and colouring in around where the dark, where the dark bits are. Oops. And I really do want this to be dark okay so again I'm not being particularly careful and I'm going around the edge again with some darker spots and making sure that everything gets covered okay or oh, is that your style of colouring Babsy I don't actually I mean I love colouring in don't get me wrong when I was a kid I used to sit for hours up at the dining room table um, and just draw and play with Lego and colouring in and my auntie used to work for um, NatWest Bank and so when they used to do the old-fashioned days of um, computer runs they used to have this whacking great green and white striped paper with holes that used to go along these grooves and um, when they used to do the payroll runs um, if they didn't have enough of this paper left over they would leave it in a box for my auntie. She used to bring it round and share it. Good afternoon, Tanya. She used to share it with her two and my my mum's two, which is which was one of me and my sister. And we used to use the back of it, which was white, um, and colour and colour and colour. So as you can see, this one is well and truly loved because it's really pale at the end. This one's dark mango melody. So I'm I'm going to um, try and lay a lot of and. I wouldn't normally use my, my blends like this, but because it's it's on its way out, bless it, I've really got to really got to give it some colour. Lay it down quite hard. And this I think is the light mango melody. So again, we just want a little bit more of the colour. So um yeah, so I'm just going through and I think sometimes the more you lay the colour down, the darker it goes, and then it will dry a little bit lighter. So I'm just going to get the oh the brown pens already here and again this one's quite um it's had it a little bit so it's not as dark as it would normally be so I'm just going round around the edge of that and that is pretty much my sunflower coloured in <clears throat> I may add a little bit more colour to it in a moment but what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this dye over the top now I have found <clears throat> excuse me there is a particular leaf that comes out in quite a V and it's the only one that does it and if you look at this die that V there is the same as that one there so if you can find that petal on there what I would do this isn't my stamp set I'm borrowing it I would put a black mark there in um, permanent marker pen and also on the on the stamp on that side I would put a permanent dot on the front of that stamp so that when you put things back in the um, the box you know your um this when you put it in I would probably put where is it I'm just trying to see where it is no it's not there I think it's along here so I put a dot there as well to make sure that when you put it back, you'd know. Good afternoon, Kylie. How are you? So I am going to quickly off camera run it. Well, actually, no, let's pull it up and let's do it on camera because some people might not know how to big shot. So here we go. So let's do that. I'm just going to 
pull it back and I'm going to just do that so you can see. This is the magnetic plate, so I'm going to put my cardstock in there. There we go. And line that piece of um, leaf up with it. Twiddle it around until it stays. Okay, I'm just going to quickly get some washi tape. Otherwise it could move while I'm doing that and my masterpiece will be ruined. <laughs> which won't be the first time, but then they're not really masterpieces. Not everything can be salvaged. Okay, so put my top plate over the top and run it through the big shot. Ooh. So let's have a little look. Okay, so let's grab that out, put that to one side. I'm wrecking the joint, look at that. Okay, so let's bring that closer down. Right, so... As you can see, my lovely sunflower, where I went over the edges with the yellow, you can't actually see the uh, very vanilla. So that's a top tip. Pull my dye off very easily and put that back on there. And as I say, you can see where I've um, cut it out and it's I've gone over the edges so that there's no bits. And you can leave those bits for later. So I'm just... So I want to put that on there and I might even have it slightly coming off the edge. Um, but I also want to do, just thinking, I want to put some ribbon around it. So I'm just wondering, do I do the brown or do I, uh, which is the um, cinnamon cider, or do I do the bumblebee? Or do I do a bit of both? Because that's looking quite nice actually like that. Hmm, I think I might do a bit of both. So let's flip this over and let me get my glue. I'm going to, uh, on camera preferably, put that there and put that there. I'm going to, I'm just going to wing it as I am doing with the whole of this card because it's good to put yourself out of your comfort zone every now and again. I don't do it enough, so... Let's do that. Oops, I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to use some tear and tape. So, let me get that. If I can find it. Nope, so I'll quickly use, quickly use this. So I'm going to put that over the front there. Put, yeah, I'm going to put both on Babsy. I think it looks quite nice as well. So what's that, did you say? You like the ribbon on my big shot? Oh, <laughs> that is years and years and years old. That, well, I've been a demo 10 years now, and I think that was one of the first ones that we got. Um, they did it in Rich Razzlebury and Old Olive and in that chocolate chip, and it was amazing. And I've still got some, um, which I just can't part with. I love it. Okay, let's do this, and let's hope that it will stick. So start again so let's put that there wrap that over there we can always move it if it's if it's not straight cut the ribbon and do the same with the bumblebee okay do that pull it tight over and cut okay so let's have a look oh yeah it's got a little bit of glue on there but we won't see it hopefully with the leaves so I am going to stick that down on there now, so I'm going to use some glue. So I'm just going to put that over the ribbon so that it sticks. Whoops, that's fine because that's where we're sticking it as well. Okay, so let's do this. There we go. Okay. So it's taking shape. Nice. Okay, so let's move. I'm just wondering, well, I'll do it afterwards. I still would like to use some of the ribbon on it. So let's take the middle out as well. So I'm going to use my bone folder to give it some shape. I'm just putting it through my finger and the bone folder to just give it a little bit of shape. Okay, so that it's not completely flat. Okay, so that could go there and then we're only seeing that bit or I could bring it up a little bit. We'll see. 
we'll see. Okay, now I want to do a sentiment. So I'm going to use this scrap of card and I'm going to use, let's put that die back in there, otherwise I will lose it. Okay, so let's do, let's celebrate you. Okay, let's get a block for it. What do you think so far? Yours is covered in sticky tape for the dies. <laughs> now I know that this stamp label is on wonky, but that's okay because I'm going to be cutting it out. So I'm just going to tap it with my Versamark. Okay, and I'm going to, oh, before I do that, my embossing buddy. I'm just going to wipe it over there so that any static or fingerprint marks won't actually take the stickiness of the of the embossing powder so you should be able to see yeah there you go you can see that so what I'm going to do is with my embossing powder that's stamping up I've actually put it in a container just to make it easier and then you can do this you see so you make sure you get lots of embossing powder on it flick it now you can see where I didn't actually put the embossing buddy it's um it's gone a little bit, a little bit weird, but that's okay. So I'm going to put the lid back on that before I blow it all over the place or drop it more like. I've got my Stampin' Up heat gun. I'm going to turn it on, start to get it warm. Hopefully not burn my fingers. And as I get this, hopefully you'll be able to see it actually turns white. Just trying to see if I can get that at an angle. There you go, it's just starting to, to turn. Turn it off my fingers because that's very hot. Okay. Whew. It's because it's a little bit of card. Just make sure that I've actually turned everything melted. So that's my sentiment, but I actually want to cut it so I'm going to freehand the lets I'm just going to take the lets off do that because this is straight letters and the other stuff's all curvy so I've got a lets let's get rid of those bits and I've got the celebrate you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some fussy cutting so I'm just going to go around very loosely and follow the shape of the letters as best I can moving the scissors and not the card are you still all with me I haven't put you to sleep okay so let's go around here bit more I used to hate fussy cutting but now I kind of I kind of find it really therapeutic as long as it goes okay otherwise we just cut another one out okay round the end and here let's cut that off because it's getting stuck there we go. almost there I don't want to cut the Y off A lovely font this one I really like it almost there right. Ooh, nearly cut that bit off of there there we are right so let's get that so we've got let's celebrate you okay let's just trim that down a little bit more and what I might do is because I might put this sentiment up here. Let's put that round that way. I might put this sentiment over here. Otherwise, if it's over here, you're, it's just going to be black on black. So I might, I might actually do something like that. And then, hmm, I know what we'll do. We will stamp, we'll stamp some leaves. So I can stamp these in the, early espresso 
I really am winging it today, aren't I? Goodness me. <gasps> what am I like? Okay. Don't know how many we'll need, but I'll cut and stamp a few. So I've got some choice. I know with um, floristry, you normally put odd numbers of things together. So, and again, I would normally have stamped those earlier. You like it at the top, Babsy. Lovely. As I say, I would normally do this um, in advance or stamp it with um, stays on or um, other something else that's more permanent. But I'm just going to very lightly lay down some colour. And again, what I might do is go over the edge because... No, because I'm cutting it, aren't I? So that's okay chat the way to myself like I normally do I bet I'm not the only one either you can see me as I say I'm not I do do things carefully hi Pat how are you my lovely thank you for joining I'm making a card from um celebrate sunflower stamp set from stamping up so this is my card in progress I have no idea how it will turn out because I'm winging it today so I'm just going to bring this and where the darker colour is, just again, this one's well and truly worn. It's from doing classes and things and, uh, you know, at the end of the day, they're there to be used and I, I enjoy it. So, I'll do one more, which might be the darker colour. I might use the bullet end, actually. There we go. Okay. Okay. Right, so that's all my blenders, my blends. I will cut out the two big ones. Again, a bit of fussy cutting. Not worrying about cutting the edges off because they're going to be tucked behind the flower anyway, so you don't have to be too precise. Okay, so that's the first one. Just doing the second one. As I say, they do come with dies, but by the time I've got the machine out, if I was just doing this and it's like, ah, I'm more than happy. They're not too difficult to cut. So let's get that one. And let's use this one. And I'm going to use half of one of those. So let's have I can always grab more. You're doing all right, Pat. Oh, that's good. How's lockdown treating you? Are you crafting, Pat, or are you uh, doing other things, or are you driving each other mad? I don't have anyone to drive mad other than you guys, because I live alone. It's not a problem. It means I can craft till my little heart's content, or crochet, or get up and watch telly if I can't sleep at night, which is often the case. Just means also I don't have anyone to to sit and watch the telly with in real life yet but that'll come okay so let's just see so there's my five leaves I can tuck them tuck them round here um, I can also tuck it like that what are we thinking little one there maybe two at the top or maybe put that one there and put that one with that and then two little ones at the top probably got my arm in the way so you can't see yeah that would be good and what I am going to do is I am going to do I leave it blank or do I do I put something on it I think let's get this stuck down so let me get my uh, where did I put oh they're under here so let me get my big dimensions dimensionals and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there oh thank you Babsy well as I say I'm completely winging it today it's um it's ad hoc ad hoc live not prepared um let's see what we can do 
Right, okay, let's move these out of the way. That's stuck down. I'm going to put that there like that. Okay, so, oops, slight, let's move it slightly over because I know when it goes in the in the envelope we want to make sure that it's not squashed. So that's there. Okay, I'm going to put a little, well, actually I'm going to put the dimensionals on these as well. So let's make sure that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so we said one, one in the edge here, didn't we? So I'm going to have that one coming over like that. I'm going to put the other one with another dimension. Are you liking it so far? What do you reckon? Comment if you like it. So I think you've gone all a little bit quiet. I'm going to put that one there. Okay. I'm going to put a little blob of glue on this one. Wing it Wednesday. Oh, yeah, that might be a new thing for me, um, Carol, mightn't it? Yeah, I like that. Wing it Wednesday. There we go. Put that one there. And then these two little ones we can put on here. Okay. One there. Okay. And another one here. Okay. Put them like that. Might overlap them a little bit. There we are. Okay, let's move that out of the way. I've got a little bit of... Ooh, I've got my sentiments not stuck down yet. Got a little bit of that on there. So let me get my rubber. My... I don't think Stampin' Up! sell these anymore. Um, so this might take it off. It's just... There we go. Look at that. It's making it a lot cleaner. Okay. So, let's put this on here. Okay. So, I'm just wondering if we have it over the top of the flower a little bit. Uh, let's celebrate you. Or do I have it up here? Tell me, do I put it at the top? If you write it, tell me if I put it at the top. Or do I put it with the celebrate, let's celebrate you over the, over the flower. What do you reckon? Come on, Martin, if you're still watching you as an artisan, where would you put it? So I want to put a knot of ribbon here. So I'm, then I can utilize this corner, but what do you reckon? Should I put it at the top or over the flower? And while you're doing that, I'm going to, you like it at the top, so you like it at the top, Pat. Okay, so that's like that. What does everybody else, you like it at the top as well, Babsy? And you're my top fan, how lovely is that? Carol, are you my top fan? I can't see, you I haven't commented while in this bit. Jane's my top fan as well, how lovely. And I lucky girl. Right, so I'm just going to put these two together on the, on the roll, tuck them underneath, over the flower, you see, okay, like it over the flower as well, Bab, so I've got two and two, so two for the over the top and two for over the flower. Martin, it could be a deciding vote, are you still there? What do you reckon? Put that like that. Okay. Where do I put my scissors? There they are. I, I, I don't know whether I'm your top fan, Jane, because I haven't, um, I haven't commented on anything you've done for a while, have I? If I am not, I apologise. I will rectify that straight away. He's making his mash. So his mash is more important than watching me. How very dare. <laughs> I'll let him off. So, what do you think? Should I make the ribbons a little bit smaller? Should I cut them down a little bit? Or do you think it, it looks okay? I just wanted to utilise the both. I think I'm going to stick it on the plain bit. Because I don't want to really detract from the flower. Plus it's a little bit... Um, I don't know. Hmm. No, I'm going to try on the flower. So, get my glue. 
Oops. Okay. I did an executive decision there. Everything else has been winged, so cut the ribbons down a bit. I will do that, Baz. I'll just put this on and we'll have a little look. Again, I still need to order a pokey tool. One of those pickup tools. Haven't done that yet, so along with my new catalogues, I will need to order a pokey tool, a picky up tool, pokey tool, whatever extra thing. There we go. So let's hope we can do this. I'm going to stick that around about there. Make sure they're straight. That one's not, but we'll make sure. Do that. Okay, cut them down a bit. Oh, get that off my finger. Do that. Cut that one down. That's the pigeons outside. <laughs> and my neighbour, one of my neighbours, who've got little girls, they like to, to be a little bit vocal. So, that's the front of the card. I still need to do the inside. So, I think I'm going to utilise that with my um, soft suede early espresso I beg your pardon early espresso ink mm -hmm. just do that like that oh lovely and then I'm gonna quickly grab an envelope because if you watch me normally you'll know I do not do blank envelopes, naked envelopes, not in my house. No, no, no. So, I'm going to put that there. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to put it on the seal as well. Well, you can't see me what I'm doing, can you? What a plonker. So, I've done it on the front. I've done it on the, the back as well, over the seal. So, let's stick this inside my card. Okay, make sure that that goes on. Open it up. I've got my ink all over it, but you won't see that when you write on it. And it probably would come off with that, but we're not worried. So, envelope inside card. What do you think? Does it need a few gems or pearls, shall I? What do you reckon? I think it might need a few f few gems. Let me grab some of those as well. Goodness me, I can't remember the last time I was this spontaneous on a... Well, I've never been spontaneous on a live. I've always planned what I'm doing, but I quite like this. This could be the new Linny, you know. Ooh, sit down. I might need to have a sit down after this. Goodness me. Here we go. So, I reckon one over here. Pick them up. Again, my picky up tool would do this as well. I reckon one under there. And one over here. Let's have a little look. Is that the right way round? Or is that too uniform? Let's have a little look. What do you reckon? Do you like it? I really like it. As I say, if you if you missed the beginning, that's the card I originally made with that stamp set. And then I made some others with the different um, sentiments. So let me move these over, get rid of that. So I made some with Let's Celebrate, You Are Loved. Um, I did some with Ribbon. And then the Congratulate You on your new level. Let's pull up a little bit so you can see that. And then today's one which is completely different. So, yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? Sit down and have a drink, love. Love it. Right, well, I've got my water, so I'll have a bit of a slurp while you're commenting. I'd love to hear what you think, what ones you like. Oh, thanks for the hearts, Baz. The favourite one you like is this one, Baz. Is that because it's got the dark colours on it and there's not so much clear? I do like all of them. As I say, my um, my blenders, my blends were running out of ink. So, um, yeah, I like that. I like that. I wasn't keen 
I, it wasn't it was one that was growing on me plus as I say I've done this notebook as well um, and I did that with white embossing on there oh hello Scylla I didn't see you join apologies welcome to uh, to my wing it Wednesday as Carol's <laughs> named it you like them all but and you love this stamp set yeah and it comes with the amazing dies as I say um, so You've got the leaves, you've got the actual cutout overlay, which I haven't used. Um, and these two lovely um, sprigs, the leaves um, and the two little leaves as well. And the big one that I've, um, yeah, stuck there. Favourite one is just the one I made, Pat. Oh, that's lovely. Well, I'm glad I made it then. As I say, and this little book will be going off to somebody special. Um, it was one, as I say, that Stampin' Up! had originally. It's got grateful for small th uh, things, big things and everything in between. Um, today I'm grateful. Find the beauty in everyday moments. Um, yeah, so this is this is a retired one now. But if I'd known how beautiful it was and I hadn't taken it out of the packaging until the weekend, I would have bought more. But too late. So, yeah, I'm going to flip you round as I sit down. So let's have a little look. There we go, here I am. You know I borrowed it, but will you buy this set for yourself? Probably. I, 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 I'm glad I borrowed it, but now I'm, I probably would now I've made this one. Now I've made this one. So, uh, yeah, and you could do it with the different layer over the top. You know, this, this die, you could probably do it where it's got a different layer over the top or you can just leave it as it is. But I really like the... Um, the Versamark background and the black, but I might have used a smaller version of the black or moved the ribbon up a little bit. But, you know, I uh, I don't actually mind it. So there you go. That is Wing It Wednesday. I like that. <laughs> and all I can see in this is my curls at the moment. I, uh, I've been using my old um, conditioner that, that I couldn't get for ages and I've gone really curly and the sun's made it go really blonde so um yeah not, not that the sun's made much of appearance today but I'm hoping it's going to come back fingers crossed um and we can have some nice weather again and appreciate it but while we're working I don't mind it being a little bit miserable but it, I miss my sitting out in the garden having my cup of tea at tea breaks or lunch breaks but there we go as I say the garden needs it all so um yeah, if you haven't got um, a demonstrator or a current catalogue and you'd like one, go onto my Facebook page, Stampin' with Lynn Fay, and you'll find a link there to put all your details in and I can send you out a catalogue. Um, if you want to talk to me about joining my team for £99, um, please get in touch. I would happily welcome you to my Pink Owl um, team and we've got a lovely few ladies that are you know have joined and have been with me several years so and some have been quite new um I'd love some fellas to join as well if you're if you're you know into crafting and you like the Stampin' Up products um in the meantime I um I can't think of anything else other than thank you so much for joining me um I've really enjoyed you um coming along and watching and uh, seeing me do some off the cuff crafting and uh yeah so until next time, please stay safe, look after each other. Um, I shan't be going out to a restaurant or a bar this weekend. I will um, continue to have my, my drinky poos at home with my bubble friend and, um, and maybe cook some dinner and hopefully it'll be nice in the garden to sit out with my other friends and things. Um, but yeah, stay safe, look after each other. Um, please do comment on my... Um, on my Facebook live even after if you're watching on the replay because I'd love to hear your comments and um, I will randomly pick somebody from the comments um, if I look on Friday and give some people who are ready to watch on the catch-up um, I'm gonna send one out as um, as a surprise card in the mail so uh, yeah keep tuned Follow me on uh, YouTube as Lynn Fay, and I would love you forever more, even more than I love you already. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful week. I'll see you back this time next week. And uh, yeah, take care. Mwah. Lots of love.
Bye.